Welcome to the final video in this course. So far, we've trained the network to do some beauty work to remove the bruise from this actor's face in a single shot. And now I'm going to show you how to apply this effect to multiple shots with the same actor. It's fairly common that you'll have multiple shots which require the same cleanup work and Copycat lets you do this much more quickly. So I'll load in the two other shots that I want to apply this effect to and create a data set in the same way as before by painting a couple of frames to use for the before and after. These frames have already been done, so I'm just going to load them in now. And once I have those frames, I'll add crop nodes and the same grade and color correct nodes as for the previous shot. And now I have the same data set set up for each shot. So I'll add a copycat node and two more append clip nodes to combine the input and ground truth for each shot. Then I can train the network using just one copycat node. I know from before that a large model size worked well, but this time I'm going to change the initial weights drop down and use a checkpoint and set it to the latest cat file from the last training I set off for the previous shot. And this will weight the training towards the effect that was achieved before and should produce a better result. Because I'm using this checkpoint to weight the training, I shouldn't need to use 40,000 epochs. So I'm going to bring this back down to 10,000. So now I'll train the network for both these new shots and see what we get. So now the training's finished for both shots and the result is looking pretty good across all the shots. Overall, using Copycat was far more efficient than manually removing the bruise for each sequence, especially as during training I could be working on other things. Thanks a lot for watching this course. For more machine learning tutorials for Nuke, take a look at learn.fangie.com forward slash Nuke where you can find a whole machine learning section. And also check out the user guide and reference guide documentation for a detailed breakdown of the air nodes and workflows.